What is up, YouTube? It's me, King Envy, and today I am accompanied by my fiance, Purgatory Queen. And hey, guys. We're just going to kind of go around and clear up some bounties today. And obviously, we, we're going to talk about a few things Destiny related, obviously. I, I'm kind of curious with all the. <coughs> With all the obviously with the hype of Destiny 2, and with the beta coming out pretty soon, I'm sure. I would all I would like to I guess get everyone's opinion on what they want Destiny 2 to be. From every I mean I know you haven't um you haven't played Destiny long enough like I have to kind of know where Destiny has been and to where Destiny is now. But, from your time playing it, what, what do you think Destiny is lacking? I truly think, well, lacking, I, I think more variety of the customization of your, customizing of your character. That's the one thing I, I do want to, is being able to obviously customize your character a lot more than what you have now. Um, only because obviously they kept stressing the fact of your guarding and being like unique and you know they wanted to kind of be I guess immerse you in the story and everything but what kind of you know you kind of look like everyone else it kind of kind of defeats that purpose that sense of uniqueness rather I would like them to I would like them to add a new race if that's even possible, I know they have like their lore built on the races they have now. But um, I was reading up on the God, and I'm I'm blinking on the name right now. The uh, the Exos. There you go. I was reading up on them and um, found out that obviously they were human to begin with, first of all, and then they kind of. You know, I don't I don't know how, but became robots, kind of transferred. I guess their soul or whatever or minds to being robots. What I would like to see as a race, to be honest, is like a mixture of in between that, like half human, half robot, almost like a cyborg type thing. Yeah. I think that would be pretty cool, only because that would kind of like um, I guess you can call them. Mm, I don't know what you would be able to call them. They would be like. I guess the people that kind of freaked out and didn't want to do it, or something went wrong, like the rejects or whatever, like they didn't mm -hmm. really become exos. I think that would be pretty cool to to see done. That would be a very interesting concept, and the, well, building the story on that would be easy. I mean, like it, it would be, you. yeah, you know, the experiments when they first started off didn't go well. It's those were, you know, the failed experiments or whatever with it. Right. I know for a fact that I know there is a lot of lore that is still missing out of Destiny and that I do know but there could possibly be something that um that a new race is still there, we just haven't really discovered it just yet. And I know the, the biggest I guess the biggest complaint with Destiny is the fact that there's no there's no story. At least is what everyone likes to argue. That's like their main argue point with Destiny. It's a garbage game because there's no story to it. I kind of agree in the sense where in traditional games, Destiny would consider to have no story because there's really no there's no explanation of anything. It's kind of like just go here, do this, because we're telling you to. Mm -hmm. As opposed to like, you know, your games like Skyrim, you know, where you have a story, but you can kind of do everything else, but you know what your linear quest is. Right. Now, if they were going to go with that route, obviously, well, they did go with that route for this. I wanted what I always wanted was for them to make it easier for people to actually read up on the lore, like their grimoire cards and like all this other stuff that they have instead of having to go through like the app to go through or go like to the Bungie website. I wish they made it more easily accessible or hell, come up with a book on the whole lore. I'd be happy with that. I would buy it and read it if they haven't mm. done that already. Stupid thing. 
Mm. Is there anything interesting up there? Um, we have to come up here to do our, to do our little quest, and then there's like this chest here. Um, but that's one thing I would like to see. I mean, I've I was I've follow YouTube channels that kind of read up and like explain the lore. You, I'm sure you've heard me watch them. Yeah. And, and it is a very interesting concept. I'm not even going to joke about it because it's like it it brings something new to the table that hasn't really been, I guess, introduced. Oh, there's a chest over there, babe. Like the concept of Destiny, I I I think the world is great. Like everything, you know, the place, and the whole entire I guess universe of Destiny is interesting. Like, everything about it is fascinating. The races that they have, um, the conflicts that, the known conflicts that are going on, the ones that make sense as of right now, are interesting. But it wouldn't hurt for them to, like, gather up all that, all the lore, and just kind of, you know, make a book out of it, or something. Right. To make it more, I guess, more enjoyable, make it so that people can actually understand Destiny to the fullest. And I hope with Destiny 2, if they're going to still continue with the let's not explain everything route, then to obviously make it more easily accessible to obtain the story in any kind of fashion as opposed to, you know, what they currently have. You coming? <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I got a little carried away. But yeah, no, it, it, and as you said, I'm not, I haven't really ever been so invested in knowing anything about Destiny. I've gotten a little more into it because it's been a year, well, a year yeah, since we played. played. <laughs> so it's, it's nice to get right back on track, not to mention that it kind of sucks when you're playing and someone you know, your significant other, or or so on and so forth, is a lot higher and you're just kind of like, well, I know nothing about it, and I only got it because, you know, you get to play it with you. And to not, and to be on the same level as it is right now is a lot more easier to deal with and be more invested. Do you not me feel shoot, like, feel me shooting at you? No, I do not. But no, yeah, Sorry. I kind of, I kind of like the fact that we took a, we took a break from Destiny. Starting, oh, starting over was something that was needed. But at the same time, being a year one player and seeing where Destiny went, coming back to, it, I almost kind of didn't recognize the game. They kind of changed everything. I feel like they made things a little easier. A lot more easier than it should have, to be honest. And that's all probably going to change when the second uh, game comes out. Everybody's going to be starting from scratch. I just completed the reconnaissance. Yeah, I did too. I might as well finish up this uh, this bounty uh, patrol, rather. But like, you get your Gallahorn. Like that was, as a year one player, that was the mo well. I, I couldn't. I shouldn't say that's the hardest exotic to get because all of them were hard to get and that was the point the whole point was to go grind out the you know the freaking strikes it was it was to grind out the you know weekly nightfalls and hope you didn't get shafted with like a legendary engram or like strange coin you had to go and put like the hours into it and hope to god that you got it you know and that's kind of what I liked about it, but I hate it because, I mean, you know, they, they say it's RNG based, but, you know, when you, <laughs> when you only get crap all the time, you kind of start to deny that fact. Oh my god, where the heck is he? So I like, now, you know, if you wanted to grab a whole entire inventory full of Gallowhorns, you can. I mean, yeah. regardless, it's going to take a bit of work. But you're guaranteed a Gallahorn now, and that's kind of stupid. Mm, right. You kind of took away the whole, you know, I guess Ex exotic aspect of it. Yeah, because... you, you you made it an everyday gun now, and it's kind of stupid. I guess right, it's supposed to be a rarity. 
Oh god, I hate this one. Fresh one's right here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ooh, god. I always panic. And that's kind of what bothered me about it, but... I don't know. At this point, obviously, since Destiny 2 is making its debut pretty soon. I guess none of this matters. Oh my god. I died. I mean, at this point, <laughs> they could probably just give out every exotic and it'd be okay. That's one thing I would like to know. If, uh, oh shit. If, obviously, any your one players are watching, if, how do they, like, how do you guys feel about having to start over in Destiny 2 where your character won't be coming with you? I, I would assume that would be like the end of the journey for your guardian. I don't know how they're gonna play that if they're gonna like kill off your guardian in some weird accident or they're just gonna take place somewhere else or what. But I'm kind of curious on how they do that. I, on the other hand, and since I already technically started over, I'm not too bummed about it. I mean, obviously I lost like all the other exotics that I had. Right, you had your, what was that, oh, Hawkmoon? Because I mean, you love that damn hand cannon. And what anyone says about it, it is the best. So I'm not too bummed about it. I mean, I'm curious on how they're going to do it. I want to know if your guardian is just going to be like a fairy tale, or like a little folklore story now. And then... Kind of like the see... hero, like... Yeah. Like any other RPG where you're... You're the hero, and there's nothing really. God, what what you know. game did that? Oh, that where you were the main character in the previous installment? Dragon Age. Yeah, there you go. Dragon Age did that, and they did it My... like in the greatest way, obviously. You know that whole series. It is absolutely my favorite of, of everything. Like the details of it. Ooh, sorry guys. Um, the details of it and just. Just the way they went about it is such a beautiful way, I guess I can say. I feel like that that's the route they'll probably take here, is obviously explain everything you did, or this Guardian did, to your new Guardian, Destiny 2. Like, hey, you know, this is what they did before you, this is what you have to like, you know, these are your responsibilities, I guess. Yet. That's where you killed me. Mm, I don't like being set on fire, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually, I'll say, I'm also quite glad everyone gets to start over. Just cause... Right, they'll be on equal playing fields. Yeah, you know, it would be... It would suck. For like, let's say someone brand spanking you and they've never played Destiny before and they're just gonna pick up Destiny 2. It would suck for them to go into like the crucible aspect of the game and then be completely outgunned by people that have every exotic so far that's come out for Destiny while they have nothing. You know? Yeah. Didn't we kill this guy in the sigil? Um, I think so. In the... Got him. In the prison of elders stuff. Any fight you can walk away from, right? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm curious about how they're gonna do that, and I'm curious about obviously who who's against this. You know, this the step that they're taking. And, you know, who's with it? I would like to know why people are against it. You know, what's the reason why they, they wouldn't want to start over? I'm assuming the reason is going to be the very common one, which is all the time that you put into your current Guardian. Which makes sense. You know, you did put a lot of hours into your current Guardian. Yeah, and getting the exotics that everybody has gotten and just to be wiped clean in a whole new sleep, I'm sure that's probably going to irritate a lot of people. And, and I get that, you know, it does, it, it is slightly irritating, but like I said, you know, to make things even, they, they have to, people have to think about the new players. And I know not a lot of people do because, you know, did we come the right way or are we, are we fucking lost? Wrong way. <laughs> 
you know, not a lot of people think that way because it becomes. Is that, is that the right fucking way? That was the one that we came on. Oh, oh. they go through the stupid hole. Because you know, obviously, everyone just wants their stuff. They don't care what anyone else has in this game. But you have to realize, like I said, you know, there's gonna probably be people that's never played Destiny before, and they're gonna pick up Destiny 2, and they would be completely, completely outmatched by the year one Destiny players. And, you know, it would cause them not to want to play anymore. So, babe, um, like I said, you know. Great before it disappears. Does it disappear? Not yet. I'm talking about the. Oh, God. Does that platform disappear? No, it doesn't. Or is that the one that's only in the raid that disappears? Um, I think it's the raid. I don't know. I, I haven't done the raid in such a long time. I don't even remember how they work. That's another thing that I think I would like to see in Destiny 2 is, and I know people are probably going to crucify me for it, but matchmaking for the raid. Because I'm like tired of like going onto the forums and seeing all this, oh you gotta have, you know, experience, you know, to do it, and you gotta have this certain gun and this fucking certain shoe size, and it's all stupid. <laughs> It's it, uh, it's stupid because I mean everyone obviously started off with no experience. I don't care who you are You started off not knowing crap about the raid But once you're done with it, and you've done it once or twice You think you're a big shot and you think everyone's supposed to know how to do it just because you did it once or twice Everyone magically has to know how to do it Which is dumb. Right. And I totally get that, because that's the same thing, like, a little kind of sort of in WoW, but you actually do get the chance of matchmaking in WoW of the, you know, the raids that are, are, are prominent that are in there. I mean, once you get to a certain level, that is what you do, and you grind it out like no other. And it is a great concept of being able to, you know, at least meet new people, and if they're good, they're good, and then you'll bring them along more. I mean, exactly. you have no way of knowing besides being with your group. Exactly, and then there's, I know people are going to argue with the fact that, oh, you know, you'll get you'll get stupid players, you'll get noobs, you'll get people that are just going to troll you. Okay, and if, if that's the case, then, you know, that, that'll be Teach on... Teach them to be better. <laughs> yes and no, but, it, you know, it'll be on Bungie's behalf to kind of monitor how that works exactly. You know, you can't, you know, simply reporting people isn't going to help. I mean, come on. We've all done no. it, I'm sure. And I'm sure Bungie just looks at it and like, yeah, well, who cares? You know. With, There's got to be a legitimate reason. With the whole matchmaking for raids, I, I would hope, you know, if they do do it, that they would go with a stricter, you know, route of being able to kick people instead of being, you know, instead of giving the people the full authority just to kick anybody and everybody for no reason just because that he doesn't have a certain gun you're gonna kick him like you don't know if he's good or not you just just because he doesn't have said gun you're gonna kick him out of the raid like that's dumb like that guy could be the best person out of your whole entire group and could carry you through the whole raid because he doesn't have x gun you just don't want to even try like you can't kick somebody for that like i feel like they should have like uh if they would if they were to do it they should have like a voting system like everyone would have to vote to kick you know whatever person out it can't just be one person to kick them out it would have to the whole party has to agree to it yep so basically the same concept that wow has for their party raids and and, and I mean, grouping system wow okay so wow obviously figured out a way to do it so no destiny player can say it doesn't work it will never work because obviously wow made it work and in fact there are times i've gone through the raids with complete random strangers and i've completed it a lot faster than playing with my group of friends so i mean being strangers doesn't mean anything 
you know. Oh, well, I wasted my grenade. I think he escaped me. I feel like we killed this dude a million times already. <laughs> We've killed them all a million times. I am sure. But yeah, I, I would like to see matchmaking for Raid. Because these prerequisites for being accepted into the clan or whatever, the little Raid group is ridiculous. See, that's where we would go to farm your your thing, by the way. Oh, the husk, uh, the husk gun. Is that what we have to do for you? The husk out of the pit? Oh. Are you talking about the quest? Oh, the quest. Yes, I, re I remember this. We helped that guy, um, last time. Did you, did you put a rune in? I don't think I even have a rune. Oh, you put one oh in I in. do have a rune. Da, 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 stop it. Okay. <laughs> I did one more patrol in the dreadnought, then we'll go do that. Oh, we don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's not a big mean, deal. We're here, we might as well do it. But yeah, I would, I would like to see matchmaking. You know, I'm sure there's, obviously, they can take their freaking... They can take notes from WoW. It's not that hard. Ooh. Black Wax Idol. Where'd you? Uh, oh, that's um. That'll give you, if I remember correctly, give you more glimmer for killing hive. Come this way. Let me find one more patrol I'm mission. Coming. Oh, I'm not coming. Pick that up. But no. Okay, so I have a question for you and the viewers. If okay. you could create a super for your guardian. Obviously, without being it being freaking ridiculously OP, within reason, what would your super be? Would it be a void subclass? Would it be an arc? Or would it be a solar? Or would you implement a new subclass element? I, I honestly, I can truly say that an interesting concept for that, and I've actually thought about this, Damn it's it. funny that you brought it up, that, um, there is... So, it's a warlock. I get mm -hmm. it. Um, the arc, Stormcaller, I get that too. But why not have a super that if you're on a different planet, mm -hmm. that it kind of takes on that element, like, depending on what it is. I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, incredibly too detailed, you know, Sensor like... I don't know. I guess one planet has diamonds on it and not like a diamond storm or something like that. But just like <laughs> just like um just just an all around um adapting kind of kind of super. Yeah. I guess that would um, I can see that happening. It would be interesting to see actually. Come back this way, we're gonna hang around the uh, this area. The Court of Oryx. Um, I was thinking about that today, honestly, at work. And it's funny because the Titans have a, you know, supportive super, which is the Titan Bubble. The Hunters have a supportive super, which would be the, what I call, Katniss Everdeen class. And that's the uh, that's the tether that you get uh, yesterday, I believe. Oh uh, yes, bow. yes. But that could definitely be improved. <laughs> but uh, to me, the warlock doesn't have one, and people can say void walk. I'm mean, not void walker. Sun singer is a supportive role for the warlock. I don't think so. I don't think the sun singer is supportive at all. I mean, I. I I think it's more offensive than it is defensive. And it doesn't really benefit the team in any other way other than, hey, I revived, let me revive you now. Like, that doesn't help any. 
at least not in like a game changing way where the titan has the bubble where you know everyone gets like weapon damage bonuses or you know armor bonuses well done and then you get the um, the hunter who's you know slows down everybody you know, it keeps them all kind of grouped up. They can't get away as quickly. Like that, to me, that's that's supportive. So I would like to see a supportive subclass for the Warlock in Destiny 2. And if they decide to come up with a new element, I would like them to see do something with that. Right. Um... Yeah, I got a room. Doesn't, don't they have like, don't the Titans have like something like the Hulk, Hulk smash kind of thing? They that, that's the striker. Things? Okay. That's like their basic subclass. Which I mean, I, I get think, the Titan with their the bubble, best. which is like one of the, the like, like a huge armored shield. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's technically all it is. But, you know, it works. Like, it makes sense. Oh, that's right. We gotta throw it to him. Or lure them. Yeah, the exploding thralls are the ones we kinda have to... If I don't die. And I died. <laughs> I jinxed myself. Did I respawn back in? Will it throw me there? You can come back in. Oh, okay. I'm good. It from me too painfully far. There's an exploding one right behind you. And another one, and another one. Oh my god. There. I'm sure those boots are garbage. Oh, I didn't get anything this time. You got a rune, right? Yeah, I have one. But I was thinking, for me, like, if I were to create a super, I would create one for the Warlock. See, to me, when I think of Warlock, I think of, obviously, you know, magic, and whether it be light magic, dark magic, whatever you want to call it. Well, see, that I think that defeats the purpose for me, because, like, Warlock in World of Warcraft, I'm a huge WoW player, by the way can't tell. <laughs> um, it is, it was more Warlock usually has dealings with demons and, and that has to do with, um, just a lot of the, um, I guess the undead aspect of being a Warlock, which is black magic, so on and so forth. Um, so seeing the Stormcaller being of an elemental, I thought of a mage. I guess that, yeah, a bit. But it's not, well, nah. I guess. Get off me, man. Oh god, where is that? I thought I- oh, we gotta kill them all at once. Yeah, you're super. I do. There. I forgot about that. I did they kill them all at once. But yeah, to me, like, if I were to make one, I think for the Warlock, I would like them to have kind of like, um... I wouldn't necessarily say, I don't think it would be a supported super. Like, I would like them to kind of have, like, m their super would have, uh, like, they would send out mirror images of themselves. Okay. You know, and then, obviously, they can take a certain amount of damage. They can't deal damage to you, like, to the enemy player, because that would just kind of be overpowered. So, basically, like it would be, like... What you're referring to? I'm sorry, guys. I'm always going to refer to something as a PC game because that's what I've always played. Um, so you're referring to as Guild Wars 2's Mesmer, where it's like a basic duplication of yourself, but it doesn't really do anything. Kind of like a a, a substitute. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, if they were to obviously deal damage, that would be kind of unfair, seeing as 
then it would be like uh, the teaming would be uh, like an 8v6 and that would be unfair but it would be you know they they you send out mirror images of yourself they can I want the I don't see I, I don't want to make it overpowered I would say they can cap points if you're playing like cla uh, control you know they can kind of cap flags for you or start capping flags like they can't permanently do it or cap a point on their own and then I don't know if that would be too overpowered. And then obviously it... I honestly think that would be. I, I truly think that would be. If you have a duplicate of yourself capping another like area. Like, okay, when I mean by if I, oh, I can't throw them off the map. What I mean by that is like I don't mean like fully. He can only like they can only like step on it just to like tell the enemy team, hey, you know, someone's at this flag. But they can't do anything more than that. Like, they can't actually cap it. It'll just give that the enemy team the, the whole caption of, hey, someone's trying to cap your flag or someone's trying to take it over. Yep. How many thralls? Oh, or, he would hide behind that shield. Or if they wanted to take a different route with it, what they could do is they can have the mirror images do damage, but if they take damage, you as as your like self would take that damage. Oh good lord, I can't even did we get it? <laughs> yeah, we finally got it. Oh, but I think that'd be another route. If they want to have the mirror images do damage, then it would, you know, if they take damage, you take the damage. And obviously if they die, then obviously you would die as well. Or you would take a certain amount of damage and it won't heal until your mirror images are gone. So like if you have full health, you'll be dropped down to like, I don't know, 25%. You'll, you'll lose 25% for each mirror image that dies or takes damage. Okay. Yeah, that is a lot like Guild, uh, Guild Wars 2, um, because the Mesmer class does have that where if you pop out so many, or mm -hmm. you can use it in a combination where you can actually deal damage to another person, um, that is always, I thought, is a cool concept to actually have an illusion, like, myths about it. Did you do another one? I, I'm, I'm completely out of runes. Okay, I can do one. Let me see where I am at that. Um, well, we haven't been doing it. Uh, summon foes with a stolen rune and defeat them with, uh, them in under two minutes. <laughs> I don't know if I... I don't remember how to do that, to be honest. Like I said, we can probably gear up one of our friends that will help us do it, so... Yeah, we still gotta try to get through the weekly, which... The modifiers are AIDS. What? Pony boy my gets my everything. hat. I do. I love the gamer tags some people have. It is honestly <laughs> so hilarious what they come up with. Watch out! I heard wizards. I call him a witch. <laughs> I ha I've had the tendency to call him that, but I mean, it says wizard, like right above him. So. Yeah. No, we'll be s scream like a witch, so. Like, I know you're not a big eyes, I'm melting. PvP person, but you, the little that you have played with me. You know what's the one thing I complain about, and it's the one thing that I hope freaking Destiny 2 doesn't do, is the freaking player clash. Oh, that shit needs to go. Especially in the freaking Crucible. Like, I don't care if they have it, whatever, out in the PvE section of Destiny, but in the PvP aspect, it's gotta go. Like, I'm... 
I can count. Well, I, I I should say this. I can't count the amount of times. What is that? Why is that? Oh, he's probably doing. Uh, getting to it. Leave it. Um, I can't count the amount of times that I've died because some fucking booger eater decides to just shove me out of the way and I get sniped or I get, you know, supered or something because I can't freaking move because someone's standing next to me or they've pushed me out of the way and it gets annoying. Yeah, I, I've run into that, especially when Oops. you're in the front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't mind it in the PvE, because, I mean, you can get away, there's really... I mean, the enemies are kind of stupid, so... It's not like oh, you're gonna die. Stuff. So, in the PvE, I can, I can handle it. But, man, in the Crucible, it's just annoying. Too short. Um, yeah, I mean, from what I have played as a... PvP in, in in shooting. Um, it is very annoying, but I was super excited to get my first kill, <laughs> which I thought it was the biggest accomplishment ever. And then I died a whole bunch of times. I'm not very good. I'm not gonna pretend I am. That's the one thing I can't stand. Like I probably should not be like bashing YouTubers, obviously. Since I want to be one and start doing this, but I can't stand YouTubers that, you know, they they make it seem like being bad at a game is a bad thing, like they're ashamed of it and they don't want everyone else to know. It's like it doesn't matter, you know. To me, it's like goodness. It's like it makes it more entertaining. Yeah, like, I, I would like to see your fails. I would like to see, you know, show me how difficult <laughs> the game is. Them. You know, don't show me that, you know, don't don't cut out all your freaking mess-ups and all that. Like, that's just dumb. Like, I came to, you know, obviously see what, what the game's about. And you cutting out your, your mess-ups and all that kind of takes that away. And, and no, no longer makes the game fun. It, it becomes about you trying to show the world how good you are and how fantastic you are at, every, at everything you do. Like, that's just boring. Oh, it's back again. What is? That, uh, test. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was waving at you for. I wanted you to grab it. Well, no, I already grabbed it. I told you, it came back again. But yeah, that's, that's the one thing I can't stand, and that's the one thing that... I won't do like if I fuck up everyone's gonna know about it yes if I mess up when we continue to play this and record please learn from my mistakes and don't do what I do yeah that's that's why I want to see fails I want to see you know why you know they messed up or what went wrong so that I don't do those mistakes you know I would like to see that stuff I would like to learn have like a learning curve not just yeah, look at me. I'm like doing, you know, 30 and 0 in like the Crucible. I'm great. Like, that's boring. Like, everyone can, you know, try hard. Like, I don't care about that. You know? That's why I like love YouTubers that show that they mess up. That's why, you know, the YouTubers that I, you know, that we watch, you know, again, I probably shouldn't even be doing this because it probably won't help me either shouting out other YouTubers, but, you know, you get Jehovah, who's absolute AIDS at everything he plays, <laughs> but it's hilarious. It is, honestly, I can, and this goes to the same thing for you, when you play a, a, a game, and we're going to be doing this as well, you know, it's going, it, to me, it feels like I'm watching a movie that I enjoy and it is gonna be one of those things that you know he does it and we're gonna do it I know we got a, a lot of things planned for this oh, yeah. um, channel and it's, it's it's gonna be epic he coming oh you killed him better go grab this VIP so we get the hell out of here I 
and love. Like, I hate and love this freaking super. Like, you have to actually hit someone with this. You can't just land it next to them and hope that it'll kill somebody. You actually have to hit them with it, which is kind of annoying. They're, explo yeah, see, in they're exploding hammers, but you have to actually hit them with it for it to do something. Yeah, with this, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Destiny, but I, I panic like crazy. I can't do <laughs> close range in this. I mean, first person already makes me freak out because I'm so used to being in third person all the time. But this is just, it's, it's too, like, it's too up in your face and I'm going to die one way or another kind of thing for me. And it is, it is one of those things that I, I, I would probably do a lot better if I was in third person. That way I get the whole area of view of the, um, the actual playing field that I'm in. Oh, God. playing shooters in third person. When Call of Duty had that option, it would freaking be enough. You know how many goddamn corner peekers there are that play freaking Call of Duty? Like <laughs> it's uh, like it takes the entire aspect out of it. Did we kill the? We yeah, we, we did kill the VIP. We're done with that. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there there is a lot of things that I do have planned for the channel. Obviously, depending on how it does, hopefully it does do great so that I can do the things that I want to do. And this comes from obviously watching other YouTubers. It's kind of what I do um, on my downtime. What is he? Just watch a bunch of YouTubers. And from what I've seen, there's a lot of things that I would like to implement. There's a lot of things from other YouTubers that I would like to change. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers say that they want to be interactive oh, with their community. And mm -hmm. that's the one thing I really want to do. I want to be interactive with the community. Because, I mean, the YouTube community is what makes or breaks you as a YouTuber. You know? And I would like to you know, be more involved with them. Have them be involved with me if that's what they want to do. Like, oh my god, like at work I was just thinking of all these things that I could do, all these things I want to do, like, um... And we would definitely take suggestions from people. I mean, I would love to hear what people would love, would love to see, whether it be a gameplay, whether it would be, you know, something that is scary, which I know we're probably gonna end up playing, and I'm probably never, gonna shit I'm myself. You, I, I would never fucking play Dead Space. I don't give a fuck who wants to see it. I don't care about any of that. <laughs> I would never play Dead Space. I've tried, and I shit you know, I could even play it in the daylight. That game scares the living shit out of me. See, now this makes me want to play it because you always try to get me because I pretty Good much freak luck. out about everything. Good luck. Oh, no, no, no. If we're going to see the movie It, we are going to yeah. play Dead Space. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I'll I think about it. There's no thinking about it. We're, it's going to happen. That game is just, I don't know why. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a bitch, but that game is just terrifying. And the thing is, it's not like your traditional scary games where you know something's gonna pop up and scare you. Like, in Dead Space, you just can't tell. Like, you'll have your, like, creepy, build-up, scary song in the background, but then nothing pops up. So, like, it builds you up for no reason, and then when you least suspect it, it's just BAM. It just comes out of nowhere. Oh, well, it's about that time. We should start wrapping this up. But uh, like I said, you know, I would like to be involved with the community a lot more. In fact, I have, like, suggestions and, you know, stuff that I would like to do. Some that might not work out because I know the YouTube community is crazy. Everyone in the comment section is 50% genuine. And then the others are, like, you know, trolls. And the others are just a-holes. But I would like to get everyone involved. Like, I would like to have segments of, you know, when I ask people questions, you know, if there's, like, a heated debate or whatever, I would like to honestly play with that person one-on-one -on -one and actually talk to them so we can get that view. You know, I would like to understand people and where they're coming from and, like, kind of, you know, do that thing, you know, get people to play with, 
um, play whatever games you know they want to play, you know stuff like that. I would like to be able to, to actually interact with the community as opposed to just saying I will or you know I I answer to all your comments and stuff like. That. I want to be able to do it, and not just right, say right. it. No, we both will, and and it's something that we've always been wanting to do. Um, I definitely want to do, you know, obviously you'll have your channel and I have my channel and then we will be doing a lot of, um, Destiny and I'm going to get killed. <laughs> um, I, I will definitely take any suggestions. If you guys want to see some gameplay, that is totally awesome. I would definitely be down for doing that. Um, as I said, I'm not much of a p PvP person, but I would definitely give it a try. Um, definitely not against it. Uh, as well as, I'm huge on RPG. I am probably gonna put up a, 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 a Skyrim RPG, um, and you guys can follow me and look for me. My, my, uh, tag is, uh, Purgatory Queen. Um, and if you guys have any questions, anything you guys want to see, let me know. Yes, yes. Me, um, I will not be playing Call of Duty. I know that's like a big YouTube thing. Not into it. Uh, Jetpacks and all this other garbage. Not for me. I would much rather play Destiny and probably Borderlands if they decide to come out with anything else. To be honest, I'll probably pick that up. But um, I'm oh, really down. We haven't done. even beaten it yet. Yeah, we have. Oh. Not Borderlands, I'm sorry. I, I was thinking about Fallout. Uh, but I gotta get that game too. I would like to replay that. But yeah, I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys have any comments and any tips on our first ever YouTube video, let us know. I'm down to kind of improve whatever I need to improve on and interact with everyone. Thanks for all the feedback. And don't forget to leave your answers in the comment section. I'm really, really, really interested in hearing what you guys want from Destiny 2. Any ideas, any, you know, any concept you guys want to see. And we'll be signing off, YouTube.